Flores, Salem City Manager. Thank you uh, for being here and thank you for your continued coverage of our uh, Salem Water Advisory. Uh, this morning, with help from others, I would like to update you on, on, on what occurred over the weekend and what we have planned going forward. Yesterday, we received test results from Friday that indicate that our water is below the EPA guidelines for cyanotoxins. Sunday's results were the second day of, of clear or results that were below EPA guidelines. That's good news. Feedback from the community, from our partners, and in consultation with many, we have decided to extend, though, the health advisory, the water advisory. We are extending the water advisory until we have a solution that will keep the toxins out of our water or keep the toxins at levels below the EPA guidelines. We estimate that we will need two weeks to do that. And we have Jude Groans from our consulting engineer, Corello, uh, to go into more detail for you on what we have already started testing and what we are planning on implementing at our Garen Island treatment facility, which is uh, shown there on, on the screen and we have visuals for you. The decision to extend the advisory, we understand, may cause some concern among our residents and water customers. We received considerable feedback through social media, through phone calls that the on-again, off-again nature of our advisory was causing confusion. I believe that extending the advisory until we can assure our water customers, our residents, that the water is safe to drink is the best course of action. To help us communicate with our residents and our water customers, we are developing additional information pieces. One you see here behind me, and we'll be able to explain that later in the press conference to help the public continue to have the information they need to make decisions regarding uh, drinking Salem's water. Again, throughout these advisories, the water has been safe to drink for most of Salem's population, for most of our water customers. And the results we received Saturday and Sunday indicate the water is safe to drink for everyone. We need to get through this period of algae, we need to get through this period of uncertainty regarding the toxins before we'll lift the advisory. At this point, I'd like Jude to come up and, and speak to you uh, in, in very specific terms regarding the steps that the city has taken to prevent algae, to prevent toxins from entering our water system at levels above the EPA guidelines. 